Hello bees bladers, welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have three Mickey knives and whoa, and I mean whoa, wait until you see this model. I have two very fancy ones and a more budget one, but it's not that budget. Wait till you see them. We're gonna get right in them, check them out. I'm gonna tell you all about the blade steels and both of them have spectacular blade steels. We're gonna get this started right now. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I am because I'm videoing one knife after another to share with all you guys and gals. And this is so exciting getting to share these awesome knives that have come out. Now this is the first one. This is the Mickey Bronte. Would you look at it? Just look at it and oh, the blade. <laughs> I wanna show you the blade, but I gotta check out a couple things first. Here's a look. This one in particular has G10 handles. It has a spot for a lanyard and we'll go all the way down. And there is the Mickey symbol. And this has a Japanese flipper type and it is so easy to flip this knife. And here's the, let's see, it doesn't have a reversible clip. There's your clip. It doesn't have flat screws, so it does have a couple mushrooms growing in the shade. There's there's a possibility of snagging your pocket, but because they are so flush, I haven't really had issues in and out of my pocket. I have checked all three of these knives out. Now, are you ready to see this blade? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh, mamacita. Would you look at that blade. This is SLD Magic Blade Steel. Have you ever heard of SLD Magic Blade Steel? There you go. Would you look at that and check out at the bottom. This reminds me of fancy chef knives. It's made by Hitachi. It has really good edge retention, edge retention and toughness. Um, it's kind of equivalent, you know, I did a little bit of study and it's kind of the equivalent to SKD 11 steel. It runs around 60 to 62 hardness and oh, Wow, if you want a slicer with a serious point, it has a carrot, carrot, karyadinske. <laughs> I always say that blade wrong. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. I think it's karyadinske or karyadinske. <laughs> I'm going to say Karitske, or I could just say K-Tip, but that is the style blade. And going all the way down, um, it, it kind of comes out from this plunge grind, and you do have room to sharpen down here. And this is a liner lock. The lockup is pretty good. It's about 50%. And let's see, you can see there that it's milled out on the inside, and you do have a backspacer back here. And here's a look at the pass-through. Look at this. It is, I mean, buttery. Buttery, buttery smooth, easy, easy, easy. And there's a there's a look at how much room you have. It doesn't doesn't require a lot of force or a lot of effort. And then, wow, is, this knife is so incredibly smooth. You can see that it's centered, and you can easily flip this from over the top. Now my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And when you have a handle like this that has completely neutral ergonomics, you're never gonna have a problem with how it feels in your hand. This feels, it feels so smooth. I have no hot spots whatsoever. And when I'm holding it back here, I am just ready to cut. And if you like doing, I like doing fine cuts fine cutting, I like a fine slicer with a point. So this is one of those knives that I'm gonna grab when I wanna do some precise cutting or in the morning, cutting up my fruit, this one is gonna be spectacular. Now, if you're not a big front flipper type because you have problems with the front flipper, this might change your mind. Here's your pivot and then you have this much mechanical advantage over top of that pivot, which means it makes it extremely easy just to roll your thumb. If you just start rolling your thumb, it just snaps out just like that. And if you've had trouble, you're not gonna have a frame lock over here getting in the way. If you wanna flip this with your index finger, it's very easy and you can see just how smooth. And this is not, I would call this almost a budget knife. Now, from tip to tip, this bad boy is 8.1 inches long. It has a three and a half inch sharpened length. The blade stock is 136 thousandths of an inch and behind the edge, 17 thousandths behind the edge. And then these scales are rounded. They're contoured. They are very nice, very, very nice. And I look, I just looked before I made this video and these are 15% off. It puts these at around $55 hairs. That is a very good price for what you get. The fit, the finish, the action, the ergos. And I'm telling you, I don't have problems with any of those things. This jimping up here is more for use when 
using the front flipper and they don't really come into play back here. They don't give you any grip, but you don't need it. This is not gonna be a hard user knife. This is, oh wow, it is an enjoyable knife. Now, let me show you what happens when you fancy this up. And when I say fancy it up, I'm talking about bumping up the blade steel and bumping up the materials. Here's one version and you can't see because of the light. That is carbon fiber, but wow. And I mean, wow. Let me show you this, <laughs> look at this. Blue fat carbon. You could call that Arctic storm. You could call that whatever you want, but that is beautiful fat carbon on this version. And this is going to be a nicer version or a nicer variant. Everything else is pretty much the same as I described on the other ones, except, but wait, there's more. The blade steel on this one is ZDP 189. Look at that. I told you I had them out playing with them. Look, look at this transition. The transition down there on that, oh my goodness, on that secondary bevel is just gorgeous. It is wicked. And this, yeah, there you go, ZDP 189. And if you look down here, the, the sharpness of this knife is just unbelievable. It's 132 thousandths of an inch for your blade stock. And then it comes down to 17 thousandths. Or no, this one is 16 thousandths of an inch. These two right here are 16 thousandths behind the edge. And just... Just admiring that beautiful blade steel and the satin grind. The satin lines on this just look gorgeous. And it is extremely, extremely sharp. And ZDP 189, if you're not familiar, is a, it's, it could be a, maybe a tad more, and I'm being very nitpicky on here, maybe a tad more brittle than say K390. And this is from my research, but with hard using, maybe ZDP would be a little less or a little more prone to chipping if you're really hard using, but you're not going to hard use this knife. So I'd say for any intents and purposes that you're going to get one of these, that you're never, you're not going to have any issue when you're going with ZDP 189, because that is premium. And I mean, premium steel. This is three beautiful, absolutely beautiful knives. Mickey knives. I've looked at a few of their knives before and they have these Japanese style flippers and they are very nice. And I mean, very nice. And I didn't really give you a close up of this one right here. Here's a look at that, what I call traditional carbon fiber and it looks so good. It has that beautiful carbon fiber look. It is slick to the touch. This one is also slick to the touch, but oh boy, that looks good. And then this one here, the G10, has a slight amount of tactile feel. Let me give you a little texture vision. You can feel it. It has a little more grip, I would say, than the carbon fiber versions, but these are stunning. They are absolutely stunning. Whether you wanna have this for a, for a wall piece, <laughs> I mean, I, I always use all my knives, but this is one, if you look, these the blades on these are just so gorgeous. It looks kind of like a big katana or something like that, the way they have these transitions in the steel. It just looks so good. But I will have a link in the description and in the comment section where you can go check out the different variations of this knife or these knives. It's the Mickey Knife Bronte, and I really do like it. I appreciate being able to check these out. Let me know what you think. Do you have a favorite out of the three, or do you not like them at all, or do you like this style? What do you think about that front flipper, that Japanese style flipper? Inquiry minds want to know. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell button. That way you'll get notified before the live stream every Friday. Bees Blades live at the hive. Oh, right. You don't want to miss it. You got to come and ha hang out. You'll find out that it's a lot of fun and the knife community is way more fun than anyone would ever imagine. You come for the knives and you stay for the people. Now go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or the hive streams, remember, Live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.